Hello everyone, it's Melinda Nail Fanatic here with your March 2018 Love, Peace and Happiness monthly reading for the sign of Capricorn. And so we're going to get started and I'm here and we're going to start with the Play School flashcards. So let's see what is the message of the general energy in the month of March 2018 for Capricorn. And before I do this also I need to let you know I am recording this March 4th, 2018 and the energy of these messages will come in at different times for all of you. So whenever you find this message, it will be perfect timing for you. And if you come across any of the other older videos that I've done and they resonate to you or they're pulling on your consciousness or tickle in your intuition, go watch them because the energies do not follow our calendars. Let me just say that. And you're not in the same place as everyone else. However, there's you're not so unique that there's nothing that resonates either. And these messages are for sun, moon, rising, northern node, whatever part of your chart you understand how to interpret for yourself. Apply these messages accordingly and benefit yourself because these all this is done to be of service to you, to be one that offers something of value to you to help you on this evolution evolutionary journey that we're on of embracing our own humanity which is quite divine and um empowering one another so okay i'm hearing spread them and pick one and this is the one i'm gonna pick we got the purple butterfly i absolutely love this for you capricorn you're in a major period where you're understanding so much you're going through so much transformation i feel like you've just come through major transformation i feel like um you have recently escaped the cocoon that held you and your wings wrapped tightly around you for a long time and now you can spread your wings beautiful butterfly and fly 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 and with the purple color i'm getting all that um crown chakra energy and that third eye energy because there's it's two-toned and the crown and the, the third eye really works well together and a lot of people um have the an, and and you know what you can't i i can't say anybody's wrong but in my world i f experience that the third eye is my communication to the universe that's my frequency signal sender and the crown chakra is the receptive signal receiver so the third eye is my microphone and the crown chakra is the speaker where I get my responses. And so I feel like for some of you, you got a lot of that going on where you're asking and you're receiving. And um, it's because these are working in harmony for you. Now, there are a few of you who are going to watch this video who haven't gone through the transformation. You're going through it. And whatever place you find yourself, understand that this is all about you raising your intuitive receptivity this is about you being more in sync spiritually with the world around you and um being more intuitive uh unlocking the psychic for lack of a better term i don't even like the word psychic but um your divine nature but psychic is the closest way to make you understand the meaning of what i'm saying because there does not exist the word and one day i will a word and that's what it will mean but at this time it's your divine mind yeah okay so let's see how this energy is coming out for you um we will use the archetype cards i heard for you for this part so let me give some shuffles to the deck and we will um first off thank you thank you thank you love source god for all these divine messages for the accuracy truth and clarity for the sign of capricorn from march 2018 in a timeless fashion however for this reading so that whenever they find it it is exactly what they needed to hear and it benefits them and empowers them because that's what i love to do so this first card coming out is going to talk about your financial flow there it is it didn't come out but it stood out and it showed itself to me so this is in regards to financial flow then over here we're going to go romantic love romantic love okay this one and then the bottom of the deck is in regards to spirituality and we're going to start there because spirituality is what powers everything in your life is your spiritual engine the card that you have at the bottom of the deck is the avenger it says desire to balance the scales of justice 
righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. So you are going to battle with your, um, your divine mind. You are utilizing the information you're getting out. So I'm hearing for some of you, you're actually channeling messages and you're um, giving people advice and guidance. And some of you don't even realize that you're channeling, but you're channeling messages. And I feel like your main work here is about helping you to transmute energy with people. You want to help raise vibration as well. You are somebody who is in tune with this reading because you are living the most high vibration life available to you at all times. And you realize the benefit of that not only happening in your life, but in the life of the rest of the people around you, because we all are connected. And the more of us that are high vibration, the better it gets and the better it gets. And so you want to encourage that. I also feel that if there's been something wrong that's gone on in your life and that you are at a point of seeing the solutions to resolve those things and i feel that a lot of you are really confronting the deeper things that you've been holding on to that did not benefit you and so you're having the realizations you're having the downloads you're having the epiphanies that help you see where you can uh, better your mind and better your life where you can let go of some loads that don't really belong to you i'm hearing the phrase um, that one of my girls mentioned to me which is is this mine who does this belong to? And I feel that if you apply that statement to some things, when you're in your prayer time, when you're in your meditation time, and when you're in a vibration or an emotion that doesn't feel comfortable um, because of your empathic abilities, you're picking up some things that don't necessarily belong to you. And you can release that stuff in an easier way by helping your soul to recognize that it doesn't even really belong to you and letting it go to the one it belongs to. So let's see how this energy of this transformation and this butterfly that's flying now is coming out in your financial flow. We have gossip, okay. It says, awakens the consideration for the feelings of others and honoring trust. What I get actually for your financial flow is you got people out there just talking about you and whatever it is you do. So you may be at your job and folks are talking about you. They may be talking bad about you. They may be somebody's trying to take credit for something you do at work. Somebody's trying to own responsibility for something awesome that you've done in the workplace. Um, also, if you're in business for yourself or you're like an independent contractor or there's some sort of skill or talent or art that you uh, benefit financially from now is a really good time for you because people have started to buzz about what you're offering about what you do people are out there promoting you and they're sharing they're saying hey did you know that there's this girl and she does this really good and she does that really good you should check her out oh girl i had a problem with this and that and the other and oh well i know exactly who you need to deal with i know exactly who who can help you they have their own business doing this and that or they work at this company and, and they're really good at this and that and it's exactly what you need right now and so there's a lot of talk going on around your financial flow i also feel that some of you are actually um talking a lot with people about how you can create additional financial flow but we'll find out more about the story going on behind that gossip in a minute with the rider weight deck now let's see what's the energy over here in romance we have the destroyer it says releasing what is potentially destructive preparing for new life well these are both really awesome especially loving this destroyer in your romantic field because it's saying anything in your romantic love life that is not in harmony with this new energy that you're embodying with this transformation that you've gone through you are just releasing that stuff you letting it go i feel like if you're single and you've been talking a certain way about manifesting a relationship you letting it go i feel like if you're in a relationship that you're going to stay in but there was some kind of um resentment or grudge or something from the past or some kind of uh, frustration of something that didn't really matter or that's long past you're letting it go I feel like there's also a person who is dealing with somebody and it's not a peaceful relationship that you want to stay in but this person is actually does have a problem with really uh, telling too much of your business and talking to the wrong people 
and they're actually quite toxic. I feel that you're going to release that and let it go. And I don't feel that that's coming in an easy way. I feel like some Capricorn is going to blow up because you knew that this person was not right for you. And you knew that it wasn't um, in alignment with what your goals are and the journey that you're going down. And so um, you're not actually you haven't been taking the proactive steps. So what's happening for this person that I'm speaking to now is it, uh, it's gotten to a boiling point to where something explodes, it comes out and there's no cutting it back. And the relationship is done after that, but it's good because this is you filtering out the energy that you're receiving. This is you filtering out the energy that you're holding. So let's see what the stories are that come out. I'll use my radiant rider weight deck to pull these stories out for us and let's see what's going on for you capricorn what is experience let's just start. thank you thank you thank you for showing me the experience that capricorns are going to have in regards to this gossip card let's just start. thank you thank you thank you okay i'm here and just cut them and go right off the top and i say okay and I take from this pile all right will do so we have the star we have the page of wands and we have the two of swords the bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles so that's you capricorn you're the king of pentacles you got your money right financial flow is looking really good i feel that you have an opportunity to chase your dream you're just going to have to make a decision and i'm hearing don't worry about the gossip around don't worry about what your friends are going to say don't worry about what your family is going to say this is not about them this is about you taking a hold of this opportunity to live your dreams to to receive financially from your skills, your talents, your abilities, your performances, your creations. And I feel that um, you've recently come into a place where you have owned the power and put it into action. So you are making phone calls to see how you can uh, do something with this business with this talent you may be calling open mics to see where you can perform you may be investigating on the internet to see um i feel like somebody who performs you're going and trying out different places i feel like somebody who is in the healing arts you're trying different forms of healing i feel like somebody who is in an office you're looking at different perspectives around how you handle your work so that you can be more tuned into you than what's going on around you. I do feel that whatever it is you're doing in regards to your financial flow, Capricorn, what you're looking at this opportunity that you feel guided to, it feels inspired for you, that you will have an important decision to make. And I do feel that you're gonna make it just fine. But I also feel that for you, um, it may be a good idea for you to kind of keep some of it to yourself because there are some people I'm hearing just be very selective of who you choose to share your dreams with in regards to your financial flow. If you're looking at a new opportunity for um, taking on business or putting your work out there or performing in a different place, uh, be very in, um, choosy about who you choose to share your dreams and your uh, manifestations that you're creating with because I do feel that somebody's not going to really like it, and they're going to feed you some negativity and it'll be up to you to destroy the power of that negativity. And I feel like um, one thing that could bring blockage to your financial flow is if you're giving too much attention to what other people got going on. I'm hearing mind your own business and you'll have more business to mind. And that's something that I say all the time. I feel that you have an important decision to make about taking this chance to be the star. What does that mean for you? Is this you um, understanding that there's a greater opportunity for you and you've been led to it? And I hear that if you take this opportunity, you will be blessed and safe and protected throughout the whole thing. And that's talking about your finances. So somebody's making a decision to start a new business that's going to leave them in a very good place financially because you have the money right now to invest in it. And if you go ahead and do this, I hear that it's going to work out well and your money is going to be fine. Everything's going to work out fine with this because the energy is ripe for it. I also feel that somebody's making a decision and they've been talking about this for a while 
Uh, you've been talking about this for a while, maybe with your friends. You may have been researching it. You may have been talking about your family. You're going to make a decision to go ahead and take uh, advantage of some healing arts, whatever that means in your case. For some of you, this has to do with seeing a Reiki professional or an energetic healer of sorts. It may be about having a conversation with a, a spiritual consultant like me, or it may be uh, in regards to your physical health, seeing a new doctor. This may be taking on a new physical health routine, changing your diet, um, having a different type of surgery that's going to help benefit and heal your body. And whatever this is that you're taking advantage of at this time, wherever that fits for you, this is going to work well for your financial flow. It's going to, again, create a lot of buzz. It's going to have people looking at you. And no matter what it is that you want to do, you are coming out with the King of Pentacles as your base, meaning that's the root for everything going on. you got the money to do what the hell you want to do right now. Make the choice. Take the chance. For some of you, it's take the risk. You go, you'll find great reward behind taking a risk, okay? Let's see why is this destroyer card here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, love source God, for giving me the accuracy, truth, and clarity regarding the experiences for Capricorn from March 2018 being recorded March 3rd, 2018. Whenever they find this reading, it'll be timelessly perfect for them what they need to hear to raise their vibration, to bring their dreams in. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay. Let's see what you got. Why is this destroyer here in your romantic love life, Capricorn? We have the Ace of Wands, the Sun, and the Knight of Swords, with the base of the deck being the Five of Cups. Yeah, Capricorn, I feel like at this time you've moved on from a situation and you're creating a lot of change in your life. You have destroyed some stuff. You walked away from some stuff that just really was not um benefiting you you walked away from some toxic relationship you walked away from some toxic friendships you walked away from a toxic mentality in some way you walked away from something but i really feel a lot of capricorns walked away from a toxic relationship or a toxic mentality about the relationship i still am getting that there's a capricorn who walked away from harboring old resentments in a relationship if you walked away from harboring old resentments in an ongoing committed long-term relationship it's bringing great change into your relationship it's bringing a revitalization a fresh air energy and a new start in the relationship i feel that if you were that capricorn that had something that you hadn't said to your partner in a long time and you're going to have this conversation with them and say hey look i got something to tell you um have a seat have a smoke have a drink whatever like that i feel like by the time you get done with this conversation with this partner of yours it's going to be a whole new level of trust love admiration respect appreciation it's like a revitalization and a re-sparking of the fire in the relationship. So I think that's really awesome for you. I do see a single person here who has a potential to meet a Leo who is really going to change your life. And if it's not a Leo, it's somebody that's coming in really quickly and they're bringing a lot of positive energy into your life. They're helping you to be really happy that you said goodbye to your past. And I feel that you'll actually start a relationship with the Say Sublimes here. I feel that um, there's a Capricorn who's watching this and it makes perfect sense and you're going to actually start this relationship. I feel like this person really loves to have conversation with you. It's like they never get tired of talking with you and they really love the things that you have to talk about. And I feel like even when you correct little things or you help them to say things in a more beneficial way because you're doing all this vibration work and you're understanding these things, I think that they respond very well to that. I also get for another person who's having an experience in romance that they were not enjoying. You recently are changing your vibration. You're changing your mind. You're changing your speech. You're changing your perspective. And you're really like, I don't care what I got to do. I am going to find some fucking positivity right now. And you're doing it. And it's bringing new circumstances in a new energy into your romantic love life. And so because you keep going to the bright side, if you're single, you will attract um, people who are higher vibration. And if you're involved, it's going to attract greater circumstances and a greater, uh, more fulfilling and positive response from your lover. So those are really awesome stories for you, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and put these Rider Waite cards aside. 
and I have several other decks that I want to pull just a card from for you, okay? And I'm hearing we're going to pull two cards, though. So we're going to pull Words of Clarity. We're going to allow two Words of Clarity to come out for you. This is my own custom Words of Clarity deck. It's about the size of three of the decks that are available to you when you purchase your own. Um, you can purchase as many as you want. They can be expanded upon. The information on these, they are custom channeled for you and you alone. The information is at lphtarot.com, so go check that out if you would like to have a custom channeled deck of oracle cards. This one, okay. Blessings, look at that. Now let's see what else is coming out for Capricorn. These ones um, is the first deck that I ever did, and it came out like Spitfire. So the cards that I get for you, you'll get a better idea when you go on the website of what I offer my clients. But these are my own, so I keep them. Focus and blessings are coming out for you. So I'm really hearing very similar to the other messages that we've already get, got given, which is, you know, your point of focus is really an emphasis right now. And you're seeing how your point of focus is the hub of your life. And it's the center for how things are working out for you. And because your focus is different, you're seeing the blessings. You're seeing more blessings. You're experiencing the blessings. So those are really awesome energies to have from the words of clarity for you. Let's see what we have coming out for you from the journey of love. We'll take one card from the journey of love deck. What is the message for Capricorn at this time? Whenever they find this, okay, that one, that front one, it wanted to come out. All right. It says devotion to the small. Look at that. And it's card number 32. And there's a five energy because three plus two equals five. And so that's talking about creating some change and a pivoting point. And how beautiful that is because it's through devotion to the little things that makes it easy for us to pivot. If we can find the hidden beauty in our life, dig for it. Become the best investigator of the hidden beauty in your life, of the blessings. Make the blessings the focus. No matter how large or small they are, focus on the fact that you have blessings. Make that a bigger deal for a longer period of your day, and you're going to have a beautiful response vibrationally from the universe. Everything working out differently. That's going to be pivotal in bringing about your desired outcomes during this time. Pay attention to what seems to be small. And I'm hearing for you that, you know, a big old tree starts as a little tiny seed and a big giant plant starts as just a little tiny seed and when that thing sprouts out of the ground it looks so tiny so pay attention to the small things that you're nurturing because a giant beach is made up of millions and billions of little tiny grains of sand that you could just rub in your fingertips like that but yet and still that's part of the beach it covers the entire ocean floor. And so the more you give focus to your little tiny blessings, it'll cover the floor of your vibration that you are focused on blessings. And what happens when you focus on blessings? You see more blessings because what you go looking for, you're going to find it. Be careful. Be very full of care of what you choose to go looking for because you just might find it. So being full of care and being careful would mean being more selective of what you choose to go looking for. If you want to sit up here and gossip about all the bullshit going wrong in your life, guess what? You're going to have a lot more bullshit going wrong in your life. But if you want to sit up here and gossip about the little magical thing that happened at work, the little beautiful thing that your child did, the way you're feeling good today for no damn reason, you're going to see more things that feel good. And you'll get better at it. And it'll be easier to, to find those types of energy in your life. Now, let's see what's coming out for you from the Psychic Tarot from the Heart from John Holland. What is, it? is the message for Capricorn? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, source, God, because we love our brothers and sisters of humanity for this beautiful message for the sign of Capricorn at this time when they find this video that is being recorded March 3rd, 2018. Thank you, thank you, thank you, love, source, God. What's the message I need to know right now? Why do we have so many cards? Really? I have to, okay, God, I have to read these cards. I planned to do one card from here and I am being corrected. We're going to read all three of these cards for you. It's going to be really good. Let's see. We have the blossom card. We have detach and we have just breathe. Just breathe. 
You gotta let it flow, let it flow so you can grow. You gotta let it go, let it go, just breathe. You gotta let it go, let it go so you can grow. You gotta let it go, let it go, just breathe. It's the flow assist. And so the flow assist made the song. It's called Breathe. Go listen to it. You got to let it go. Whatever this is that was destroyed in your romantic life needs to be let go. I feel that for somebody, um, you know, you are having a rebirth of your own and you're just really in your power. And so it's time for you to detach. Some of you are going to actually be divorced. And I'm hearing what's going to help you detach from that is just to connect to your soul self and just breathe your way through it. Just breathe and pay attention and let your focus be. I'm breathing right now. Something that simple will help you to release some energy, will help you to shift your focus. It's going to create a beautiful effect in your life. So if you're going getting ready to go through a divorce, you just had a judgment of a divorce, um, uh, you just had a big separation, this is all leading to you connecting to your soul self. It is so important. And for some of you, no, okay, for all of them who were divorced, if there are more than you that find this video, the reason the divorce came about was because you did connect to the soul self. So the same thing that brought you to this place is the same thing that is going to get you through to the next. And it will always be the thing that carries you through is that soul connection. Okay. Let's see what's coming out from the wisdom of the golden path for you, Capricorn. What is the message? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's just go for the message for Capricorn for this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is your card right here, Capricorn. Your card is soulmate. Look at that. For doing the work, for all the things that you've been through, for all the releasing that you've been doing. For some of you, the releasing that I was talking about apparently was, I'm hearing it was an old lover. So if you watched this whole video and every time I talked about this situation over here and you were saying, yeah, well, that's been done. I've been doing it for a long time. We did not just break up. It's been going on for a while, especially for you. You're calling in a soulmate. But for somebody who is already together with your long-term partner, you actually are with a strong soulmate. And that's why you have things to destroy. You guys are breaking down old mentalities, old lack and limitation. You're breaking down old codependencies. You're breaking down a lot of different things. So either you have a soulmate you're calling in or you are with your soulmate. If you're coupled, you are with the soulmate. So you can focus on the issues or you can focus on the growth is what I'm hearing. Let's see what the fairy dust cards have to say for Capricorn at this time. Let's first God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is the message for Capricorn at this time? That one. Okay. It says, shake it off. If you fall in others, jeer, just shake it off and walk with cheer. And that's exactly what you can do. I just got to shake it off. Cause your love it ain't the same. I don't know what else it says, but you know you gotta play, you gotta shake it off. <laughs> don't worry about it. If somebody's over there talking junk about you, don't worry about it. That ain't none of your damn business. Let them talk all the hell they want to. Let them keep making you famous. It ain't really got nothing to do with you unless you make it have something to do with you. For somebody, what's going on that you got to shake off is that ex-lover out there running their damn mouth, telling a bunch of shit they ain't none of their damn business. Okay, for somebody else, this is shaking off the energy of a situation that was presented. Because remember, you're the Avenger this month. It was presented a long time ago in your relationship. You never really addressed it, and now... You're going to shake it off by expressing it and coping with it and dealing with it. I feel like um, also any little thing that comes up for you is not going to um, be as big of an effect as it used to because you're really detaching from the stuff that other people got to say and you're really just connecting to yourself. So, I mean, this is a message that I'm getting for you, Capricorn, at this time. We have our Love, Peace, and Happiness Retreat here in Las Vegas in May. Go check out the website, get your tickets, register online to be in attendance. There are a very limited number of seats available for that event. And we have some awesome people coming to do a lot of 
um, soul work with you. They will be available to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Some of you will get that opportunity. And uh, also, it, I would love to consult for you to go more in depth on your own personal story and pull out the details that you really want to know and understand and help you have the breakthroughs that will empower you to move forward. My website to help you out is lphtarot.com. Go find out more about your words of clarity. Go find out about your readings, your, your retreat, and all the other businesses and services I have available for you at lphtarot.com, as in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course, me and mine. Until next time.